How you doing? I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a portable install of Reaper. Now I'm doing this on Mac, but most of this video will work on PC also, except for the first part. One of the benefits of using a PC is that when you're installing Reaper, you have this option right here, portable install. If you click this button while you're doing the installation, it'll create a portable install. But otherwise, this video is the same for Mac or PC. Now you're probably wondering, why would you want to use a portable install? Well, here's a few reasons. First of all, it's a great way of taking Reaper with you. Like on a USB flash drive, we can install Reaper on its own flash drive and keep all our preferences, configurations, presets, and everything we use in Reaper right on that flash drive. So you can carry that with you to any studio and all of your settings are right on that drive. No need to even install them on the studio's computer. You could run it right from your flash drive. Another reason to use a portable install is having multiple versions of Reaper on one computer. For instance, if they create a new version of Reaper and you want to try it out, but you don't want to mess up what you already have. By creating a portable install, you could put a different version of Reaper in that portable install without messing up what you already have. And if it doesn't work out, you could throw it away and you haven't lost anything. Another great use for it is for troubleshooting. I was talking to someone on Facebook recently who was having trouble with their new theme. They downloaded a Pro Tools theme that was messing with the configurations and Reaper wasn't behaving the way they thought. So rather than starting over and throwing everything out, I recommended doing a portable install. This way the user can start all over again with a fresh install of Reaper and make sure everything is working perfectly. And in this situation, it did. So it's a great way of starting over, taking Reaper with you, or trying out new versions of Reaper. So let me show you how to do it. Now before you install a portable install, you should export any configurations that you want to keep. So let's go to Preferences, right over here, and go to General, and choose Export Configuration. From here, we can export any of our settings. Our configurations, which is our preferences, our themes, our presets, the effects chains, or just about anything else. For me, I want to save my actions because I created a lot of custom actions and keystrokes that I want to keep with my portable install. So I'm going to choose this and I'm going to save it somewhere. So hit save. Now I'm going to save it in a configurations folder right here. And let's name it my actions. And now this file will hold all my custom actions and keystrokes. Save it, and it wrote one file. So now we can close this, and now we can quit Reaper and create a portable install. Let's do that. Now here's the window that opens up, at least on the Mac, when we've downloaded Reaper, unzipped it, and we're ready to make an install. Now normally, you grab the file, or the application, and drag it to the applications folder. But we're not going to do that, because we want to make a portable install. Now over here is our finder, or our directory, and down here is a USB drive that I plugged in. Now in doing a portable install, you don't have to use a USB drive or an external drive. You can put it in any folder on your computer, and you can have as many as you want. But for this video, let's do it on a USB drive so we can carry it with us wherever we go. But the process is the same if we're using a folder or an external drive. So for our USB drive, we'll go right here, grab the application, and drop it in. And that copies it to this USB drive. Now this next part's important. If we open it up from here, it's not gonna work. It's still gonna use our preferences from our normal install. In order to create a portable install, we have to add a file. We'll go to text edit and we'll create a blank file. We'll save it in our USB drive right down here with our application and down here change the format to plain text. Then we'll name it reaper.ini, all lowercase. Now down here, hide extension is chosen. Just leave that on for now. We'll change it in a minute. Save it. Then we can quit text edit. 
go to the file and go to get info. Now go over here and turn off hide extension and rename it without the .txt extension. Hit return or enter, then choose use INI. Now this file is ready to make this a portable install. So now if we open this version of Reaper, it's gonna create a portable install right in here, whether it be a folder or an external drive. So let's open this up. Now this is gonna take a bit longer than normal because it's basically starting over, but it only happens once. Every time we open it after this, it'll go much quicker. Now if you notice, this is taking a bit longer because it has to scan all plugins. So that's something to keep in mind. With a portable install, it's still using the plugins in your plugins folder. So you don't have to install those again, but you do have to bring them with you if you go into another studio. So it uses the same plugin folders as your other installs. So keep that in mind. So now it asks us to choose an audio device because we're starting over and there's no audio device chosen. So let's choose one right over here. I'll choose a device. And this is a brand new install of Reaper. Everything's starting all over again. All of our preferences, all of our actions, it's all set back to default. So now, if everything's working the way we want it to, we can import our custom actions. Let's go to our preferences, back to general, and import the configuration. I'll go to my configurations folder, and here's where I saved my actions. Choose this, and it's gonna import the configuration. Import it. And now if we go to our actions, all my custom actions are brought back in. So we created a fresh install that is now portable, but still has our actions, our custom actions, and the keyboard shortcuts assigned to them in this install. So it's pretty useful for troubleshooting, creating multiple versions of Reaper on one computer, or for creating portable installs to be brought to other studios. So that's pretty much it. That's creating portable installs of Reaper. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.